Hi, I'm at my home office here, and you can see right here uh, something kind of funny. Red lights. You also hear some uh, kid noises in the background. But um, I have these red lights actually, uh, both at my home office and at the um, office office. And it's because of this book right here. We try to read a book a month as an office. And this, this month we selected Headstrong. Now, Headstrong is written by Dave Asprey, <clears throat> and some of you may have heard of him. He's a, he calls himself a biohacker. You can Google it or look it up on Facebook. He has a, a series of interesting things he does to find better ways of having more energy, thinking clearer, being more productive. Um, a lot of those involve changing slight life habits, um, cool technology for making the brain work faster, getting more energy from the body. Um, he just has a, a basically a series of probably over hundreds of tweaks and stuff he's tried himself and um, things that he's looked up research for and he puts it in this book so um, we all found it very helpful um, I've done a lot of things actually that he recommends um, and the reason for the red lights actually is because um, his whole thesis is the energy that we have for thinking comes from our energy sources, which is mitochondria. So um, mitochondria are the little things inside your cells that generate energy. It's like you're like the furnace that gives you energy. Your brain cells, he says, uh, have way more, I think it's a factor of 10 more mitochondria than ordinary cells in your body, like other kinds of cells. Um, and because of that, um, that shows that the brain actually requires a lot more energy. Your thinking, the ability to be productive on a day-to-day -day basis is all based on your energy. So the first thing to suffer when your energy starts to drop for whatever reason, whether you're, you're having problems with sleep or there's, there's food issues or there's allergies or, or maybe you're not as fit as you used to be and so your, your body's not as efficient, um, the first thing that happens is your your the front part of your brain starts dropping in energy because and to, to it's, it's like the higher level thinking and the the back part of your brain which is considered to be more primal it's more of your kind of subconscious that that keeps firing because you got to keep that firing to live whereas the front part can kind of go on low energy mode and so like when you're tired and you have low energy what happens? It's that executive higher level functioning that goes away and suddenly you're angry. You, you, you can't keep yourself from eating things that you shouldn't, you know? And so he explains it that way that, that that part of your brain that gives you conscious control of your life, that really makes you successful, that shuts down first. Uh, so, so by um, using his techniques to increase energy, you actually, um, you actually, uh, help gain conscious control and, and, and become more successful in whatever you're doing, even the small things, the habits and stuff that you're looking to create. Um, specifically how the red lights work actually, is um, what, he, what he says is this, he says there's one of the biggest kind of like unknown issues for people in terms of energy, like the typical office worker, is what he calls light pollution. And essentially you have, um, uh, the modern day lighting is a huge issue because it has a very high proportion of blue light in it, which is apparently not the kind of like the same spectrum of light that you see coming from the sun. It's, it's the, the blue light is very stimulating and it ends up overstimulating your, your, your um, visual processing nerves. And then and believe it or not, the visual processing nerves have an even higher amount of, of mitochondria than the rest of your other brain and nerve cells and things in your brain. So, so the, that visual processing gets kind of maxed out and then suddenly it's kind of like robbing Peter to pay Paul and you're losing energy. And so, so by um, adding red light in, it helps balance out the, 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 uh, the high amounts of blue light. There's also some some glasses that pull out um, a percentage of blue light uh, out of the vision that you see and that can help increase energy. If you're working in front of a screen all day long or you have fluorescent light bulbs or, um, or LED light bulbs, any of those things have a 
tend to have a higher amount of blue light. So that's one example, that's one example of a hack. I wanted to point that out. Um, there's a bunch of other things I do. One of the things he talks about is um, uh, a guy by the name of Wim Hof who has won multiple world records for cold survival and how that actually really um, some of the techniques he uses including a special breathing technique and um, cold therapy can dramatically increase energy um, modulate immune systems and um, and modulate hormones uh, to help you have have more energy uh, so anyways I thought that this would be a, a interesting recommend I, I tried to summarize a small por portion of what he talks about everything kind of um, everything all of his techniques he ties into how they affect your mitochondria to give you energy for thinking clearly so um that's it if you have any questions uh feel free to comment below and have a great day